Hey guys. Hello everyone. Today we're doing something different. I, everyone always enjoys when I do the South Claremont tour or the North Claremont tour. But today we're gonna be doing the Battle of the Claremonts, comparing both the North and South to each other. They're both very different. It's a different feel in each side. We have lived in both sections of Claremont. So we're gonna tell you kind of some of our favorite communities within the, um, and there's a lot of great communities, but we'll pick out a handful and why. Some of the things we like to do right. when we lived in either or and uh, places to relax, you know. Um, it's a very different, even the landscaping is different. It sure is. So you wanna stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. And uh, at the end, I guess, let us know. Do yeah, you like the you, South or do you like the North? We're looking for your opinion on where, which one you like better after you hear all that's going on. All right, stay tuned and we'll be right back. in Claremont South versus North we're starting in the south you know first of all we're gonna show you right in this area when you cross over this bridge right here that will take you over to 192 in Kissimmee um, that's where you're gonna get to Disney and all the fun stuff and you can see this is all Claremont but look how close Disney is to Claremont so right now you would travel you know, down to 27 over to 192, and that's where you'll go to Margaritaville and H2O Water Park, Disney, tons of restaurants, tons of things to do. So as we cross over, when you go below this, you're in Davenport. So we're gonna go all the way up. We're gonna talk about a few communities in the area. And uh, we're talking about South Claremont right now. We're gonna go up to the Sawgrass Bay area and talk a little bit about what's going on over there and uh, let you know our thoughts. We're now passing over that bridge on 192. And if you head east on 192, that brings you to the restaurants, Margaritaville, and right into Disney where you can get on uh, World Drive. All right, we're in the Four Corners area heading north. That's where Syntex Meritage is building, getting close to finishing, I believe. Kagan Crossing and restaurants to your left, and they have their own farmer's market down there. But you'll notice the, the topography is flatter in this area, so you don't have the rolling hills that we talk about all the time, but still a great area and really close to Disney. The first community we wanted to show you was KB's Sanctuary. This community we like a lot because it's more affordable than a lot of communities. It also has something unique to a non-55 community in that it's going to have a clubhouse with a workout facility with a resort style pool. Yeah, and that's very unusual. They're usually only getting a pool and a cabana. So this is one reason why we really like this community. Not to mention, we'll show you in a few minutes, but there's a road that will be opening up into the Sawgrass Bay uh, street that will get you over to Disney once it opens. All right, we've already traveled up uh, 27 and turned off to Sawgrass Bay Boulevard. This is a really long road. In the beginning of Sawgrass Bay, you have Sawgrass Community, and then the second half of the street, you have Saranoa. This is my second choice. I love Saranoa. There's a lot of builders that have built in here and you have resale as well as new construction. And we know there's more coming through this area. Um, what we love about it is they, as they also have their own clubhouse, pool, cabana. They're very active in the community, um, great family friendly uh, residents. So it, it's really a fun place. And again, there's uh, new construction as well as resale in here. And when this road opens, this road is going to take you into Western Way, which will get you closer to Disney. It'll pretty much cut people's travel time in half to get out there. And this is also the road that we talked about with KB that will be joining into this road down, you know, later on through the phases. And again, you will be getting closer to Disney. So we're gonna show, this is uh, the clubhouse where in KB, they haven't started building their clubhouse, but because this community has been around for a while, um, you have a, a beautiful clubhouse, pool, tot lot. Uh, it's a resort style it's pool. It's resort yeah. and it's fun. 
There are many communities in Saranoa, but we have to mention the Palms uh, here in Saranoa. It's a 55 plus community and it's very affordable. You get so much for your money. You get quality homes, uh, low HOAs, and a resort style pool to dive for. There's so much to do no matter what, where you live in Claremont. This is still in the south side, but there's so many fun things. Whether you live north or south, you're traveling back and forth because Claremont is just the place to be. So this was one of our fun places to go. It still is, uh, the Citrus of Showcase. There's a lot in here. It's very quirky and it's a must see place. Yeah, um, there's a, you know, you can take kids there, you can just be there yourself. Uh, they have food trucks, there's a lot of fun souvenir things, they have a petting zoo, you can pick uh, uh, oranges during certain times of the year, and just a lot of neat things to buy, so it's always a fun place to go to. Yeah, a lot of great um, uh, jarred salsa, they have the uh, world's largest 4x4 four four that'll take you kind of in the back country. Uh, we just discovered they had a wine room that you could buy some really cool stuff. We also love Disney. Disney is so close to this area. Yeah, it sure is. And once that area, that road opens up, it's going to be even closer. So, of course, we're Disney people. We go to Disney all the time, and uh, we enjoy going there as well. We also love going to Disney Springs. You get to hear all the live music. There's so much to do. There's so many restaurants. Um, it's just, you know, nonstop entertainment. You know, this is kind of like our date night. Um, and again, living in the South part, you can get to these places so much quicker as well as Margaritaville. Yeah, Margaritaville is, is fun too. That's, uh, you know, it's newer, but it's been there for a little while, but they have restaurants, entertainment, uh, car shows. There's a lot of great things that you can do in Margaritaville as well. Ridgeview, um, right in the heart of where Olympus is. They're working on Showfield Road. Um, you're going to have better access over to Avalon, the parks, and all that fun stuff. You are, again, right across the street from Lake Louisa State Park. And this is where your landscape really starts to change, and you're starting to get more into the hilly section of Claremont. Um, but you know, Ridgeview stands on its own with that new town center that'll be coming in and all that fun stuff. So we'll talk a little bit about that. As we're heading north on Highway 27, you can see Ridgeview on the right hand side. This is right across the street from Lake Louisa State Park and you already get a sense of it being up in a higher elevation. Uh, Ridgeview has two builders in there, Pulte and uh, Lancy, and their price points are a little higher, but you can still get good deals uh, by, you know, shopping them through. So this right now, as we're going past Ridgeview, shows you where the new city center, Olympus, is going to be. There's going to be restaurants, shops, sports facilities, and other builders uh, going on in here as well. North Claremont is very different. The topography is different. You feel like you're really into the rolling hills. There's a lot of fun things to do out here. Tons of shopping all the way up 27 and all the way down 50. So everything you could want in shopping, you don't have to go outside for anything. You're closer to like the Turnpike and uh, downtown, the historic Waterfront Park. You have uh, breweries and pubs. You're not far from Lake Ridge Winery that's up here. And then, uh, you know, that's where all the festivals happen by Waterfront Park. Um, again, if you love the outdoors and the boating and all that fun stuff, this is the area close to everything. So you're probably about 10, 15 minutes further away from Disney. So if that's kind of important to you, um, you know, that might be a game changer. But again, there is a very different feel in this area. Being in the north side of uh, Claremont, everything changes from the hi rolling hills to some great lakes and beautiful views. And don't laugh at us if you're from the north because, 
Yes, we consider these some serious rolling hills in Florida. Florida's flat until you get here in Claremont. So yeah, it's definitely not your typical Florida. These are hills for Florida for sure. So one of our favorite is the canyons at Highland Ranch. Um, in this community, you're getting resale. They were finishing up on their new construction, but you can get all sizes in here from small ranch style to large, large homes for a big family. The homes really have a quality build. And we love that the amenity center is amazing. You have some really fun things for kids. The the other thing that we always talk about with uh, the canyons is the um, landscaping. I think Taylor Morrison has put so much money into the landscaping. You do feel like you're transported to a paradise. Right. You're in your own private resort, but it's your neighborhood. And this is, I love this little... Uh, kids area they have the bucket i feel like i'm at disney you know disney has that bucket that fills up with water and you wait and wait and wait so the kids have their own little section over here which is so cool and uh then it finally dumps out well now we're over in madame this is a second favorite area this is off of 50 uh, Waterbrook, and uh, they have a clubhouse, and they have a gym, and they have uh, a, a little bit more in the amenity section than the canyons, because canyons does not have a clubhouse. And the pool's right on this beautiful water feature, and it's back away from everything, so very secluded back there. Yeah, um, you can't go wrong in either neighborhood. This is more of a coastal feel. Um, love this builder. They have everything from villas to townhomes to uh, small and large homes. So um, depending what you're looking for, there's different price points in here. They have been around for a little while, so you can get resale as well as they're still building. But this is another one of our favorite uh, builders and places to go in the north side of Claremont. We have lakes all around and we have friends that have a boat that ask us to go out so we get to enjoy being on the water as well. And there's so many water sports around this area. We love just going to the lakefront and watching everything from rowing to jet skiing and you know, we love walking the trails downtown. There's lakefront uh, restaurants, nightlife, and uh, you could go dancing. There's breweries, several breweries out here in the downtown area. It's um, real relaxing. And, and there's fun activities like this triathlon that's taking place. All the place. time they have activities over here. And not to mention, um, there's all kinds of festivals right here at this lakefront constantly. I think almost every month there's something going on downtown. Yeah, sometimes a couple times a month they have it going on. So it's you're always staying busy and active. And here's kind of a sample of some of the festivals that happen year round. Thank you for joining us on our tour today of North Claremont versus South Claremont. And what did you think? Do you have a favorite? You know, some people, they want to be really close to Disney and they want to, you know, that more of the South and uh, be able to take advantage of that. And other people like the North and the wineries and the hills it's and the lakes. It's such a hard decision, but there is benefits to both. They're both great. So we'd like to hear what you think about it. And uh, if you're thinking about coming to our area, call, text, or email us. We would love to show you around or have a phone conversation with you. So stay tuned. We have a lot more coming your way. And as always, we'd like to thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate you. And we'll see you soon.